Welcome back. We have Balderdash joining us and Amber Pinnins from Winnebago County Animal Services. Hi. And this sweet little boy is available for yes. adoption right now. We are so surprised he hasn't been adopted yet. Um, he is just the sweetest. He's got the cutest eyes. He's some type of maybe doodle terrier mix. Mm -hmm. We're just not sure. And so he is available for adoption. He came to the shelter as a stray a bit, a bit over a week ago. No one claimed him. So now he's looking for a forever home. His eyes, I don't know if we can get it because he keeps looking at us. Yeah, I'm sure because he wants to be pet. <laughs> they are like, they. you like look at them and it's like looking at a little blue ocean. They're yeah. so bright. He's got like very distinct eyes. So he's definitely got some type of cool breed in there. Um, so whatever type of nut he is, we think he's um, he's definitely unique and beautiful in his way. He is. I walked out here to like greet Balderdash yes. and he was like He's very excited. Uh, very him. excited and then immediately sat and just wanted to be pet. So yeah. for a stray, I mean, I was shocked. I was like, you you're really they're a little skittish. Yeah. They're getting used to people. And he he is very happy <laughs> to be with think, people. We think he's maybe about a year old. Mm -hmm. Um so he's very young, still has a lot of energy. So I think he'd be great for a family and he's um possibly even with other dogs to play with. He's just been the easiest going guy. Balderdash, we need to get you a forever okay. home. And if you do want to have, you know, a new pup in your life, bring home a new dog. Winnebago County Animal Services is the place you want to go, okay. especially if you want to meet Balderdash in person. Okay. What are the steps that people need to take to adopt a sweet little dog like him? Or maybe some kitties, yeah. lots of animals at Winnebago County Animal Services. Well, the first step is going online. You can see everything that we have available at winnebagoanimals.org. And then you can also do an application right there. That way they can, you can get started right away, meet with whoever you're interested in with or you can come right on down to the shelter do an application in person so something that's easy for everybody either way either pathway you choose and you are just so sweet i'm serious like i would take you home i know he's wonderful i would take home every animal that <laughs> if i probably could i am and you know, a bona fide animal it's lover. It's important because it goes to show we get tons of different stuff in all the time. It's all just about keeping an eye out, but we definitely get different types of breeds and sizes. We have little dogs, big dogs, small dogs, right, medium-sized dogs right now. So it's definitely important to keep an eye out for the shelter and keep adoption as an option because you could find something as unique as Balderdash at the shelter. And Balderdash is very sweet and very cute and very unique. <laughs> I think you're a one-of-a-kind kind of boy. I think, think so too. You think so too. Now, how have adoptions been going? I know we had to clear out the shelters yeah. and we're just kind of constantly getting people in the door. Is that a good thing? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, our population is pretty high right now. We have about over 90 cats, um, close to 100 cats, I would say, or over 100 cats, and then over around 80 to 90 dogs currently, I believe. Might be more. I haven't checked exactly this morning. So, it's definitely an important time to come and adopt. We know people are busy with getting back to school ready and things like that. So, we do see a slowdown, which just means it's important we let our community know that it's even more of an important time to keep an eye out for adoption if that's what you're interested in. You know, I'm going to speak for some of the parents out there. I don't know if I should, but I think a great way to teach some responsibility for those kiddos as they're getting back to school, maybe having a pet and the responsibility of feeding it of and walking it teaches a lot of really great lessons if you want to bring a pet into the home. Oh, yes, we think so, too. And it's important to, you know, have a plan. I think, um, like I said, you know, every most kids in the home want a dog or a pet. So just making sure you have a plan of how that care is going to go down, um, helping those kids if they come home late from soccer practice or things like that. Like that but it can be a really great way to teach them responsibility and what pet ownership should be i was like balderdash i wish i had treats for you but i don't i think amber does though i do, I do. <laughs> which is what he wants yeah he's been very <laughs> excited for the treats i think Jacob. it's more about the attention though yeah. sit. He's learning so quickly. You're you're thinking he's about it. I'm just too happy to be here. He really is just a very he's happy, good. joyful pup. Which oh, is we were so close. <laughs> you it. are so close. <laughs> I think he's a great age, though, that you could really train him yeah, and get exactly. him very acclimated to the family. He has a really great attitude. Do you recommend people bringing in their families if they are considering yes. adopting? Yes, we recommend bringing in any children in the home, any other dogs. As far as cats, we think Balderdash could definitely acclimate to a cat. But those are things we recommend slow introductions on in the home since cats aren't really portable or like face-to-face -face confrontation. <laughs> so with um, dogs and kids, we recommend bringing them in. As far as cats, we think Balderdash could do great. We just recommend slowly introducing them in the home, keeping them separate for the first few weeks or so.
Good stuff there. Well, Balderdash, I really hope you find your forever home because you are just so adorable. If you're interested in meeting him or adopting him or seeing any of the other animals available right now at Winnebago County Animal Services, head down to their location. Go online to fill out an application ahead of time if you can. And you can also see the adoptable animals online yes. as well. Yes, they are all listed on there. So you can see all types of dogs like Balderdash or um, plenty of maybe a few others that we brought on before. So it's a great, great way to look and see what we have available. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us this oh, morning, Amber. And us. thank you for coming, Balder Dash. You are just so sweet. I hope you find your forever home. Because it won't be with me, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after the break. Hey.